Dying Light 2 might not have all of the firepower from the first game, but it doesn't mean there aren't any powerful guns left in the city. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to get your hands on your very own upgradable pistol and a few more weapons on top, including possibly the strongest one right now in the game, which is this really amazing crossbow. Now, let's begin with the boomstick. This isn't even a pistol as much as it is a literal one-handed medieval mini cannon that you can pretty much use to take down almost any enemy in the game in one shot. You acquired this after pretty much finishing the main story mission called Observatory, point at which it will be available from almost any craft master in the Peacekeeper territories. Like for example, I got mine from the electrical station right here on this side of the map, but I've also heard other players got it from the ship stationed nearby. Now of course, this weapon is extremely strong. It packs such a powerful punch that it can literally throw enemies on their back and more often than not also one shot them. Now, there is a big disclaimer that I will give regarding this weapon. It is unfortunately not permanent, or rather should I say, it's going to break really soon, which is going to require it to craft another one. This is an accessory, so there's both an upside and a downside to it. The upside is that it can be used at the same time with melee weapons equipped in your other hand, since technically speaking you use it with your left hand. The downside is that, as I've said, it has limited limited charges. At the start, it can only be used two times before it completely breaks, and then you have to pretty much craft another one. Here's the kicker though, it will cost about 100 scraps to craft another one, which is why you will probably want to upgrade its blueprint. At start, it's only going to increase its light damage and how much it throws back enemies, but I'm pretty sure that eventually it can also increase its charges to maybe three, maybe even more. So totally let me know down below if you got a higher level for it and also totally subscribe to the channel if you're liking the video so far. But the next weapon on the list is not going to have any of these weaknesses, if any weakness at all. This is the PK crossbow and you actually acquire this by simply giving the peacekeepers district facilities, like for example some of the water towers and electrical stations that you can find in most of the districts in the game. And once you've given them that fourth facility, you're going to get both the crossbow as well as blueprints for elemental bolts in your inventory by the fault. Now, of course, the crossbow is fully automatic, which means it doesn't take too much to charge. You can shoot it continuously as long as you have ammo, which, by the way, is really inexpensive to craft. Like against regular zombies and other infected, you can just go ahead and use regular bolts, and as long as you aim for the headshots, it shouldn't take too much to kill them, sometimes even completely one-shotting them. And this weapon is extremely powerful, but against some of the human enemies, which have armors and, like, face protection, regular bolts will simply not cut it. Which is why you will likely want to go ahead and use some of the more advanced options. One of my favorite right now is the impact bolt. It requires a bit of material in there to craft these, but you can craft 10 at a time. And it's definitely worth it because even if you fight against some of these like bigger brutes, you can just throw them away so easily like ragdolls, it's not even funny. It's even funnier if you go ahead into one of these higher places or rooftops or maybe in some of their camps and then just use the verticality to your advantage to throw them off buildings. Like that is definitely my favorite pastime. You can also like throw them in some of these spikes to use them against them which is also pretty funny. Now of course there's other cooler elemental bolts including poison ones, there's also a stun one but personally I think that the best in the game right now is the freezing bolt and just like what the name implies it well freezes targets momentarily. I think that for about like three seconds give or take which literally exposes them to a lot of incoming damage you can quickly switch to a different melee weapon and take them down like that or maybe just freeze them in place and use the terrain to your advantage to throw them off a building or something overall a really really powerful weapon which is why you're likely going to want to dedicate maybe one playthrough to joining the pk and like just getting this really awesome crossbow and overall they are most focused on combat compared to survival so yeah, you probably will want some sort of alignment
assignment to them eventually. Now, of course, these aren't the only powerful weapons in the game. You will also get access to a bow and actually you should get one automatically the second time you meet Lawan and also reach the city center. I don't really want to spoil anything, but after completing that mission, I had one automatically on rare quality. But if you do happen to not get one, eventually you can buy from the PK like vendors in the game as they have quite a few of these already even of artifact quality and what's best about this is that unlike bolts you can also find regular arrows around the city in most of the places like i got about 60 plus arrows by simply looting corpses and like taking them off the ground and by the time you reach even like the middle of the game you will have dozens of these without even crafting one single arrow but of course you can also buy blueprints for much stronger ones from some of the craft masters in the game all in all if you want to play with a bow character i definitely recommend paying attention to your gear specifically the ones that mention the word ranged because this is the type of loot you will want on your character if you play exclusively as a ranged character specifically because you will get a ton of bonus damage to ranged weapons which by the way works for both the regular bow as well as the crossbow and you're likely going to want to also invest one point into that slow down time ability that lets you focus a bit better with the bow ability and like just snipe enemies from afar it is definitely useful now on a final note we also have to talk about gear classes as i've said that ranger is not the only one we also have brawler tank and finally medic and before using ranger i was using brawler it gives you a ton of damage boost to one-handed weapons but it doesn't just stop there it also severely reduces the stamina cost of weapon attacks with these types of weapons which means that by the middle of the game you're going to be able to like just spam attacks with these weapons without almost not going out of breath at all especially since by then you will also have a pretty upgraded stamina of maybe 300 and more now the tank is probably going to be the next one i will focus on this is going to give you a ton of damage boost to two-handed weapons which in the melee category are the best by far right now it doesn't matter what quality they are just get a two-handed axe and you're going to deal tremendous amounts of damage and cut enemies in literal halves and again just like in the case of the previous ones you also get a ton of like stamina reduction at least in terms of cost which means you're going to be able to spam them that much more the tank class also comes with another huge advantage which is the fact that you get a ton of resistances and damage reduction to all sorts of damage including from zombies and from human enemies alike and also to stuff like poison and the swords so it's probably going to be my next big focus after this one and finally you also have the medic this just like the name implies gives you a ton of hp regen and helps you a little bit more with that immunity or maybe even help you with like the scanning of the environments but overall i would probably use this to mix and match with some of the other gear types in the game maybe with a tank to also get the benefit of having better hp regen but yeah personally i'm probably gonna go full tank of course this is it though with these weapons totally let me know down below which are your favorite as always if you enjoyed this video at any point don't forget to leave a like on it and if you really enjoyed it a sub would definitely help a ton thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one